that you had a documentary drop. Like, tell us about the documentary. Like, how did you even get involved in the project? Um, well, the, it's a long story, but I got punched on stage in Seattle. <gasps> And oh my God. I got punked. Yeah, this is way before. We will share this link, by the way, after the, after the, yeah. the episode airs. We'll, we'll, and uh, this, a link of that. this girl charged the stage and punched me. And the, the MC had the whole show recorded. And this is right around the time YouTube just came out. And so uh, my friend was like, hey, dude, we should put that on YouTube. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, don't worry. I'll put it on my channel. So he puts this clip of me getting punched on YouTube and it goes viral, right? It's like everywhere, right? Wait, and hold up, I just I know the answer to this question, but tell the audience here listening, was it a man or a woman that punched you? It was a woman that punched me. She ran <laughs> on stage oh to punch me. And it's fun. it was in Seattle. It's Seattle's is a real That's so funny to Seattle's me. a real progressive, Very, you know, left like. wing and my entire show is progressive, left wing, you know, just revolutionary socialist. I had this one joke about the turban, and you know, and I was making a joke. Which, uh, what's his name from uh, years later? God, what's that guy's name on HBO? Uh, everyone, um, um, whatever, the libertarian guy on HBO. He has those. Bill guys. Maher. Bill Maher did the same joke like 15 years later, but basically the joke was. I'm making fun of the religion. I'm not making oh, fun yeah. of them as a race of people, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, mm -hmm. man, I did that joke like fucking what, 2005, you know, 2003, uh, right after 9/11. So out of my entire joke, which is revolutionary socialism, I do this one joke about the towel head, right? I say, <laughs> I say the word towel head, wow. right? And I'm just, you know, I, 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 I compare it to Mormons who wear certain clothing and other religions that, that have different fucking... Jesus jammies. Yeah, wear mm -hmm. different shit. And she climbed on stage and punched me in the face. Climbed on stage and punched you in the face. Yes, and it was on video. Right? Wow. So, and then it turned viral. And then I, I uh, you know, I started getting death threats. And uh, wow. then Doug Stanhope called me and he goes... Dude, I saw you got punched on stage. I got this idea. Um, I put a page, Doug put a page up on his website called The Unbookables. He just came up with the name out of nowhere. And so he put all of his friends on there that were, do really edgy comedy. And he put my video up there of me getting punched, right? And so uh, he's on the phone. He's like, what do you think we should do with the idea? And I said to him, I go... Let's just, I know a director in Seattle, let's just get a van or get a bus and we'll book a tour and we'll just document the whole did. thing. You know, no, he goes, Doug goes, that's a dumb idea, you know, so I just let it go, you know. And then a couple years later, this, this documentary guy that I was talking about, he keeps calling me up, he's like, he wants to make a documentary. And he wouldn't leave me alone, so I'm like, make it about the unbookables or something. Call Doug. And, and I introduced Doug to this director who already had one documentary under his belt, you know. His name's Jeff, Jeff Pearson. And so we, me, Norm Wilkerson, and Brett Erickson booked this tour around uh, Texas, Kansas City, um, you know, uh, Peoria, Illinois, and they filmed everything all during the day, at the show, at night. They filmed everything. So, hmm. and then, uh, you know, he took what all the film. Learn? What did you learn? What did I learn? Uh, what did you learn from? What do you, you think you're, do you think you're bookable or do you think you're unbookable, James? Um, well, you have to see the movie. I mean, it's, <laughs> This, we got fired. Some people got fired. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I booked everybody in a real comedy club. Um, Norm Wilkerson had us at a bunch of one-nighters. But when we all got to the real comedy club, we all, you know, half of everyone got fired. And uh, so... Not like a reality show? Like, but before, I didn't know. Like, like people getting eliminated. We didn't want it to be a reality show. Island. No, we thought it was going to be a documentary, but then Jeff decided he was going to make it like a fly on the wall documentary. Like, did you ever see Jesus Camp? Oh God, yeah. yeah. Jesus Camp is this documentary where they don't really tell you what to think. They don't interview anybody. They just go, "Okay, you're a fly on the wall, and you're just going to watch this freak show." So that's 
basically what the unbookables is is you're flying along, Jesus you're watching for comedy. Yeah, you're watching a freak show of Fun. comics on the road, drunk off the ass, uh, you know, traveling all over the place and uh, throwing up. I drove up twice in the movie. Disgusting. So anyway, that's the story. That's, that's cool. the official story that, you know, Doug is always like, oh, that's not how it happened, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 right. Oh, man. Okay, this is our next segment. Uh, today's segment, Jesus shit. What? 